Okay, so today I'm going to be quite uh, ambitious. I just review uh, top of the class uh, how Asian parents raise high achievers and how you can too. So the second book I'd like to review, um, it's a pretty old book. It's uh, As you can tell, this book's all beat up. Um, I, I have actually two copies of this book. One of the, I lent it up to someone and the person never gave it back to me. And then I went to a, a, a used bookstore and I found this book again. So it's meant to be. Uh, this book was written in close to 1979. So uh, it's pretty old. Uh, um, it's from Bantam Age book. And you can tell it's pretty old because the price point for a lot of the books less than the back or under $5. Right, now this book's pretty beat up. And um, the author trained with uh, Bruce Lee and some of his contemporaries. And so the name of this book is Zen in the martial, sorry, Zen in the martial arts, by Joe Ham. All right, and I recommend it because uh, it 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 um the beginning of every chapter it talks about certain martial art concept or philosophy, and then it gives examples of how um what how he experienced it in life. You know the antidote that he um that um that he came about from that. All right, and um, it's a very easy read, and um, right now MMA is getting really popular, and my personal belief that uh, mixed martial art is becoming an entertainment rather than a martial art. And so what happened is at my school, I try to teach my students to be martial artists first who happen to compete in MMA, and especially one of my top students, Evander Russ, I try to make sure that he understands martial art philosophy and how martial art can balance him and then be a fighter, right? And so uh, martial artists, uh, MMA person, MMA guys who do well in UFC, um, after the UFC career is over, or well, guys who understand that, you know, guys like uh, GSP, Joseph Peter, who's a martial artist, who happen to fight in UFC. Um, Rashida, um, you know, and then you have guys who don't, under, don't have that martial art philosophy they go into UFC, you know, they, they're hoping to make that big, lots of money, and then they're not successful, or they are successful, and then when they leave UFC, th their career or their personal life takes a nose dive. Now, I'm not saying that being a martial artist and understanding martial art philosophy will prevent that, but you, you gotta have some kind of anchor, right? And so this book's pretty useful in the sense that if you are not into martial art philosophy and you want to get more into it, there's a lot of major martial art philosophies that has been regurgitated time and time again, but it's better to go to the source and really understand it uh, from deep within. All right, so uh, I'll read some of the chapters, okay? And all you have to do is Google these titles and you will you will understand some of these martial, martial art philosophy, okay? So uh, empty your cup. That's a, that's, a, that's a story based on a, a Zen monk, okay? Process, process, not the product. Now, very important, you know, um, to enjoy the process, how you get there, rather than, the, rather than if you were successful or not, okay? Seize the moment, okay? Conquer haste, know your limit. Even the masters have masters. Lengthen your line. Do not disturb activity, inactivity, and inactivity, activity. Extend your key. Zen breathing. Go with the current. Anger without action. Recognize a true threat. Kimi, tighten your mind. Mission, letting your mind flow. Instinct, instinctive action. And thinking pain, effortless effort, make a friend of fear, confident seeing, the power of focus, multiple options, martial art without Zen, karate without weapon, and winning by losing. All right, so I'm gonna just flip through the book really quick, just to show you. It's a very short read. It's a it's a pocket book, so. Um, you can read, you know, one chapter per night um, and basically look at some of the Zen concept and see if you can apply it to your life or to your martial art training. 
I, I, I recommend this book highly to um, MMA athletes, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys, uh, Thai boxers, anyone who is a little bit more on the physical, physical side of martial art and not really into the Zen, um, into the Zen portion. Very important to understand uh, the, the, the spiritual philosoph philosoph philosophical side of martial art, you know, because when you get old, you won't have the physical physicality and what happens is if your martial art training is based purely on physicality then you will not have a chance to have that parallel process of growth you got to grow um, spiritually physically and emotionally and it's that constant balancing act you, you won't grow in all areas you know some will, cult will um, cultivate or, or draw more to the other side you know to one more than the other, all right. So, um, my suggestion is you can find this book at you know Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, whatever. But you can also find it on eBay. This this book's been around forever. That's uh, it's almost thirty somewhat years old. 30, 1979 when it's first published. Okay, so it's all it's all, almost thirty five years. So I'm sure you can find this at a used bookstore, or whatever, or on eBay. I saw it on eBay for about maybe thirty five bucks. No, sorry, uh, three dollars, uh, three dollars and fifty cents, three dollars, two dollars. You know, so pretty good book. Um, if you are a martial art teacher and you um like to tell stories or influence your student, you can read this book and then um, pass on some of the teachings that's from this book. Okay, so uh, highly recommended, uh, very easy read, and I'm sure you can probably find a lot of the philosophy online. I also like this book because it introduced a lot of um, um, Chinese saying, um, for, um, famous art, um, saying for famous artists, um, samurai saying, Introduce um, different Zen monk philosophy or saying, and so what happens if you're very inquisitive, you can um, you know use this as a springboard to further your knowledge. All right, so um, highly recommend it. If you read this book, um, maybe make a comment on what you got out of it. 